So, I made a video oops, earlier this week, right, talking to you guys about um, prime time in NFL, how it's based on jerseys. Maybe it's based on jersey sales. Some people said in the comments, I agree with all that, by the way. Thank you for the comments, guys, about why you might think that the prime time is that way. I really appreciated it, and I thought that was a good video. Um, today, we're going to talk about why the AP Top 25 college football rankings are very flawed. Now, it's only been three weeks, so I can't give them too much of a hard time, but I am in certain regard, and this will make certain fans happy, Notre Dame, um, because there's a way I'm going to cover this. Northern Illinois did, in fact, beat Notre Dame, and I, I saw that, but I don't think Northern Illinois is better than teams that aren't ranked in that top 25. And the biggest one to me is Syracuse. I was going to get on here and make a video about IU not being ranked. It was going to be a simple video talking about how I think IU could be ranked. You know, maybe they have an argument. But then I saw teams that really, really have put up great seasons so far that are getting really no respect. Syracuse has the same amount of votes to be in the top 25 as Boise State. Boise State has lost the game. Syracuse is not. Syracuse is looking amazing under Kyle McCord. Uh, he, coming into this week, had the most passing touchdowns. CFB only two weeks, obviously. Um, and Syracuse just looks amazing. I'm not some Syracuse fan. As you know, again, I was going to make an IU video. But Syracuse is being disrespected, and they have NIU at number 23 or 22. Now, again, it was a great win against Notre Dame. And I get why you felt like you had to rank them. Because if you're going to have Notre Dame ranked, you better have a team who beat them ranked too. Right, CFB? Of course. So the poll is like, oh, man, we're going to rank Notre Dame. We have to rank this team, too. Personally, I look at your overall resume and how the team is playing. So, for example, some of these top teams, no offense, Tennessee fans, you haven't really played anybody. But you're going to stay in the top 10 because you have a T and you have an SEC over here, and you're going to get respected for it. Good. Clap it up. But Syracuse has played people. They've won. They've put up gritty wins. You know what I mean? Northern Illinois played Notre Dame. Great win. But who else have they played? It's hard for you guys to see my vision now because you're like, dude, Northern Illinois, undefeated right now. Right? Um, oh, by the way, I really like Nebraska getting their respect. But even where Nebraska is, I mean, Nebraska, in my opinion, has played like a top 10 team so far. I just think that teams need to get respected more for what they've done so far. Syracuse is in an ACC that, by the way, is being completely crapped on, even though it's really not that bad. I think Syracuse is very good. I think Clemson, even though losing to Georgia, is very good. By the way, we'll get to Georgia in a second. Um, I think Miami is, is obviously amazing. I see Duke at 3-0. I see North Carolina at 3-0 right? So it's like, I see some of these teams, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, NC State fell out, but like a lot of these teams, they do deserve some respect, some recognition. I think the ACC is getting slept on like the Pac-12 did last year. And if that stays true, I think that there's going to be an ACC team in the championship. And that team will be Miami. I'm saying that right now. But let's go to the top of the poll. Why is Texas number one and Georgia number two? If you guys remember my live stream, Kentucky almost upset Georgia. And this is going to be a point of contention, but they did it correct. Texas has not looked close to losing, and they have looked by far like the most consistently good team. That is what matters when it comes to rankings. Georgia can't be number one because we're not basing it on last year or the year before or the year before that. Their defense didn't look that great. Yeah, they hold they held Kentucky to a low score, but what are they going to do against Bama? What are they going to do against the Missouris of the world? What are they going to do against South Carolina? Who, by the way, I like they're still receiving votes because South Carolina... They don't lose their quarterback. My goodness. South Carolina has a ball team as well. So the SEC obviously is loaded. But you, you put, you, I get it. I get it. Not but. That's good. That's good. I like it. I think Texas is one. I think I think Georgia is number two. Um, Ohio State, I can't complain about it. I get it. They came in what they were preseason. They haven't played anybody either. Um Bama has played someone, but Wisconsin sucks. So I was like, what am I going to complain about the top of the bowl? I'm not. I just think some of these other teams deserve respect. I think they'll get it here soon because what my vision is that you guys are going to be able to see eventually is some of these lower teams in the top 25 are probably going to start losing, and the other ones are going to keep winning. So you're going to see teams catapult themselves in like Memphis. By the way, 3-0, right? Memphis has a win against Florida State, who was ranked at one point, right? Is Does that matter? 
No, we're going to care about Northern Illinois. And, and that's coming from me, who, by the way, I like the MAC. I like the MAC. I'm in the Midwest. I'm in Indiana. All right? I'm a, let's go Ball State. Chirp, chirp, right? Got killed by Miami. But I believe Mac deserves respect. But do I think maybe Toledo is better? Yeah. Yeah. Toledo smoked Mississippi State. And I get Mississippi State is Mississippi State, but they were favored by 10 points. Right? And they smoked them. They didn't just win by, like, a field goal. So, that's all. I think the top 25 is not severely flawed, but I think there's things that could be fixed. What are your guys' thoughts? Tell me down below. I know this is kind of a ranty video. I, I like to have more solid points, but I just feel like I had to get this out there. So, yeah. It's probably out in the afternoon, but it's made at 12.06 a.m. Good night. Half like time. Hold on. Where's my, my recorder? My recorder. Okay, guys. Half like time. Out of here. Bye-bye. Bruh.